What's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, man? This is your man, Drake Knight, coming to you again with another episode of the Drake Mac Show. Getting started a little late, 7.35 uh, Central Time in the morning, 8.35 on the East Coast. Had to start five minutes late uh, because I did not have my everything set up on my laptop. Since I did take my laptop out of town and I didn't even use it, I had to get everything set up. And I'm not going to lie, I am still, still tired from my awesome trip to New York especially uh, when it came to our brother, Jonathan Major. So uh, now I'm going to be honest with you. There's a video coming about that later on. There is a video. I don't want, I didn't want to do a live on it. I actually want to do a whole video because there's clips of stuff that I want to show, uh, especially if you're not following me on Instagram, there's clips of stuff that I want to show that I haven't shown that's uh in my phone from our trip. I want to uh, get in uh, to some detail about the court case. So that is not coming. Uh, I mean, that's coming, but I'm not going to do it on this live. Today, I'm going to talk about X-Men 97, episode five, how heavy this damn episode was. Oh my God. You know, when I talk about, when you talk about good storytelling, good writing, Man, they knocked it out of the park. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm going to do a video on, on that, chill. I'm going to do a video on that. So, you know, I know y'all want me to get to it, but I'd rather give it to you in video form instead of, you know, uh, doing this whole live stream and all of that. You know what I mean? This one, I got. I want to get out. I want to get out this X-Men episode five uh for you guys do the breakdown i think this was one of the better f you know this is the best i i told y'all this is the best writing that marvel has gotten and they have been killing killing this show like literally the writing everything has been phenomenal so of course i want to get to that i want to get to that wait uh just be a little patient video is coming out uh, we want to stream for him, then TikTok, then Tumblr. This dude is stupid. <laughs> but I want to get to episode five. Remember it? Excellent, excellent, excellent episode. But you already know what it is. The real question is... Like I said, I know my I know uh my man everybody won't want what's going on. Uh uh should have rocked some KC gear uh in Y. That would have been interesting. I actually, you know what? It was funny. Um the day that I got there, um, I was rocking Bulls gear because I just got just got in a uh, Chris Mitchell and Ness authentic 45 Jordan jersey. With the with the number ten with the tens, the forty five Chicago tens with the forty five on the side, the peas. You know what I mean? So you know, and then I passed by Madison Square Garden while I had while I was in the forty five jersey. All oh, the double nickel game. Oh man, I almost lost my. I almost lost it. I I literally I literally almost lost it. So you know, that was that was me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That was uh, how I did it. Uh, again, it was incredible. It was incredible. I'm, I want to get it to. I want. I'm going to do that because I got to come home, record the video. You know what I'm saying? Edit it and then upload it. And um, hopefully that upload would. I'm gonna upload it on my laptop because man, I uploaded on my phone. It'll never go through. But uh, upload it and then you guys will see that you know, uh, in a later video later on this evening. So let me just see who's all up in here. Derek Dynasty is up in here. What is up? What's up? What's up? James Willis is up in here. What is up? Tracy Wood, what is up? Pam ENT, then man, I, 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 woo, woo, uh, episode five, fire, 
uh my man junior net worth thank you thank you thank you so very much thank you so very much prince sada is up in here good morning good morning d stizzle was up in here of course my man chill said what did megan say in that post i'm a, I, <laughs> it was it was me i said i would just i would just i would get to it in the video i'm not gonna spoil what i said uh in there what's up my man d stizzle of course robin the admin is up in here so i'm a good morning to everyone and good morning also to you my damn you know what i'm saying make sure you hit that like button and comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel um he said my ass was grasping at the end great man the way they tied in a lot of storylines to this great 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 i seen jm give you the death stare <laughs> he got he did kind of look over like man what y'all doing you know what i mean but it was like dude was super duper cool super duper nice you, you know what i mean nothing to worry about my man die line is in here uh yeah i wish chill was there chill would have had an awesome time um uh, but yeah I, I i was like i said i was in the shot town gear when i first got there you know what I'm saying? Left in the new. I already had a New York shirt that I had matching with some shoe because I'm a matcher. You know what I'm saying? The mushroom, the mushroom coat, got to go with the mushroom belt. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know, I already had like a New York uh, shirt. Then I bought a New York hat there. You know what I mean? So it was dope. What's up, Remy Coke? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh. You know, I, I mean, like I said, it would have been nice if, if my man Chill was there. But, man, it was beautiful. It was an awesome time. You know what I mean? So, they said, I've been there. You know what I mean? Uh, Robin, love the city. y'all. You know what I mean? It was fantastic time. Fantastic time. Like I said, especially if you follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I posted everything. Uh, you know, everything. But a lot of the majority of my stuff is shout out. Let me give a shout out for one to the official Jonathan Major fan group. Let me give a shout out to them. Make sure y'all go and follow them on Facebook, on Instagram. You know, if it wasn't for them and Fabio and 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 uh, uh, Dan, Danielle Atherton, a.k.a. Danny Does Law, if it wasn't for them and, and making stuff happen, I don't think this would have never happened. So shout out to them. I give them much love, much respect, much love, because it does not happen without them you know what i mean so most definitely my 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 heart and support goes out to them uh is she what's up rosemary what is up good morning good morning good morning forrest mcleod uh the way the game it came in for the say dog oh my god frankenstein's what is up thank you thank you thank you you see you gotta coordinate you gotta coordinate and oh uh, yeah i was cheesing you know what I mean? But it, it was funny because it really, that that video, <laughs> I really thought that I was doing a, a, a picture. Uh, I didn't know it was on video and I was recording. I was tripping. I was tripping. So that's why you see all my teeth. But then I'll crack it up because I let them know, like, hey, this is all recorded. And then it just started busting out. But Megan, let me tell you, Megan Good super dope person damn the celebrity status you know what i mean damn this in with jonathan too you know what i mean i got to meet jonathan i got to meet pyra uh apriya shadri uh i got to meet lauren victoria burt um me and chill's good friend Lori italiano got to meet her super man she was like i know you i'm like what Oh yeah, you you one of the YouTubers who was using my stuff. I'm like, yeah, me chill. Oh, so she knew who we were. You know what I'm saying? Lori Italiano was amazing, so dope. Lauren Victoria Burke, shout out my salute that sister. Salute that sister. So incredibly nice in in everything. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, meeting Jonathan. Jonathan is exactly like it didn't change. Wasn't like changing up none of that. Very soft spoken person. Very highly, highly, highly intelligent brother. When I tell you highly intelligent, dog, dude is like just you can tell by the way he speak in, in, in everything. You know what I mean? Just dope, super dope guy, man. All the room, all the stuff that they try to shit on, dude. Dog, he got I got his back for life. 
You know what I mean? I got his back for life because for one, he didn't have to do what he he did. You know what I mean? And you know, he's just like a very introverted, cool, laid back dude. You know what I mean? You ain't. I'm the jokester. Like when people, when some of the, you know, uh, the people met me from the uh, from the fan group. Shout out to Sonic Deck. You know what I'm saying? And you know, got to meet Dan Danny for the first time and all of that. They wasn't the, I guess I, you know, some people don't expect me to be like I am on um on YouTube. Oh, I'm the same dude. I'm the same dude. Even I tell you this, I, I'll tell you this. So when <laughs> this is this is gonna sound jacked, this is stupid, but so Meg is in the room, she's in this office, and she's talking to Danny. Danny's daughter, shout out to Danny, Danielle, and her daughter. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful people, beautiful. I got so much love for Danny. I will beat anybody up for her. She is dope, too. Everybody in that group that we was at, dope. So let me get to it. So, so Danny is talking to Megan in the office. And I'm looking because I'm like, I'm just being, I'm sorry. I beelined her. And I looked, I was like, of course, that's Megan. I'm not like wigging out because i've met celebrities before so it's not like you know i just want to be myself so danny is talking and she was like talking serious this is like what's up dre i was like no i just came in here now man mind you megan is eating some chick-fil-a nuggets right so i'm in here i'm like yo i'm just trying to see why i didn't get no chick-fil-a you know what i mean i mean a brother like me like chick-fil-a and i like nuggets so why can't we're mine at so <laughs> <laughs> Megan looks at me and just drops her hair like, nigga, it starts rolling. You know what I mean? And that was the icebreaker. It was cool, you know, after that. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I didn't fan boy. I did. I did tell her that I had a crush on her. You know what I'm saying? Ever since she told, oh, boy, did she hate Big Worm? I was 15. At the time, I was 15. I told everybody, that's my girlfriend. Y'all can't have her. You know what I mean? And she absolutely died laughing and said, oh, that's so cute. You know what I'm saying? Gave me a hug and everything. Cool. Super dope. You know what I mean? And nothing hit me until literally I got, I was getting ready to uh, to get on my flight. I was sitting in the hotel and everything just hit me like, yo, this just happened, you know what I mean? And like I said, I gave big ups to Danny and all the people that was there. Um, it was amazing, man, meeting amazing people. We act like literally that we, like. it was like, I'm, 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 I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. We all met for the first time, and it's like, I mean, uh, a lady from the fan group, Libra, because you know, uh, we shared an Uber together to get to um, Times Square. You know, uh, I can't think of the other brother's name uh, offhand. Ramir, um, Sinodek, a.k.a. Simone, uh, <laughs> was looking at Danny like. <laughs> um, uh, I can't think of that brother's name. It, it'll come to me. Um, but uh, uh, Danny Libra uh uh sonic deck aa simone we literally like start hanging around each other and we instantly all of us instantly clicked wasn't no arguing now we did have a recast the child moment we did have a recast because libra and and, and and my brother didn't know that there was a recast the child so we was in the middle of applebee's having a debate on recast the child you know i'm pro recast the child you know what i mean but it was fun it was amazing i like i said i loved every minute of it you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it, it was it was super, super, super dope. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, but you know what? I I I saw Cheyenne White Tree. I got beelined her. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to all of that in my video. I'm gonna get to all of that in my video. But let's get to. But it, it just at the end of it. You know what I mean? It was amazing. Um, it, it was a personal invite uh tommy that's what it was um and so it wasn't that it was only six of us uh that was invited you know what i mean so uh it was a like i said it was a blessing um it was amazing 
was a, a, a weekend I would never forget for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? And like I said, it didn't hit me until I got home. Until I got really, I mean, not until I got home. I was sitting in the hotel. I was by myself. I was getting ready to uh, to get ready for uh, my flight and clean up. And I sat on that bed. It just hit me. It just hit me. And I'm like, oh, my God. Not only was I in New York City, Times Square, the, the hotel we was at, you can literally, what's up, Juanita? You can literally see the Empire State Building, the uh, the uh, the Statue of Liberty. You can see Ellis. I, you can see everything. Kicking it with those people and having fun, and and no egos was involved in being around giant the majors. You know what I'm saying? And really being personal. Like I got, we got really personal in our conversations. You know, in my conversation with him and him embracing that man and and all of that and really showing us love. You know what I mean? The man's a hugger. We'll say that man's, you know, that man's a hugger. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was amazing. You know what I mean? Um, you know, to be around that, talking to Priya, you know what I mean? Was a, it was getting, y'all sleep on her. I told her, I said, man, don't take this the wrong way. You a dog. You a dog. I don't think they see, they see that. And especially the way that this all ended, even she looked up and was like, you could have did this from the beginning. Why y'all didn't offer this? Y'all could have offered this from the beginning. You know what I mean? So, you know, the security team from everybody, from everybody, amazing. Like I said, I am extremely, extremely blessed to be in the presence of greatness. And when I tell you Jonathan Majors, when he say he's a great man, he is a great, great man. Because, you know, somebody said this before, when we was there, and I'm gonna get to the episode, but somebody said this um when we were sitting around, we was having a round table talk. He said, You are a great man. And he was like, This is the reason why you're a black A-list celebrity at the top of his game. You inspired a lot of people to do um do great things, you know, because they see you in that light. And they see what they can be. So when people were, were down in him talking about he's a narcissist, he's not a Martin Luther King and all of that. How many of us have been inspired by the performance of an actor and looked at that actor and said, you know what? I want to do that. That's how great this man really is. You know what I mean? That's how great this man is. You know? So don't let nobody, don't, don't let nobody, uh, the, the mainstream media and all of that, don't let them tell you that this man is, is whatever. This man is an amazing individual and he has so much talent, so much. And he has a heart. You need celebrity. We need celebrities like, like celebrities like him are not rare. Cause he didn't have any arrogance. It wasn't like, yeah, I'm John the majors. What's up? Y'all came to see. He wasn't like, <laughs> You know, uh, uh, like old boy from the Temptations. Nobody come to see you, Otis. You know what I mean? So, you know, he was just an amazing guy, man. Amazing guy. And, you know, don't let them take that man shine away. And I refuse to. So, anyway, let's get to the episode. Uh, give me just a second because you know how I do it on these, uh, uh, uh on these i do skip uh a lot of the you know a lot of the stuff uh i even i even skip the uh the intro because like i said you know for a complete breakdown of of the intro and all of that of course there's you know there's so many other youtube channels that have the time and dedication to to do that uh but, you know, I'm just going to go over the highlighted areas. Of course, this is fair use. I am just using the steals of this to be able to uh, get, you know, the breakdown across. So, you know, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I he didn't have time to play ball. You know what I mean? Actually, he was getting ready to go back to L.A., you know what I mean? So, uh, and, and exactly the way this man is, and uh, he's a he's attacked because he's really truly blessed. He's really truly blessed. 
You know what I mean? And we all see it in, in, in every single performance he's had. Um, he said, if we're still fighting an appeal. Just spoke to his team and his lawyers again. Yeah, they, yeah, it, it is. As uh, soon as we... It, the lawyer said, I know we got to give this sentence, but it's an appeal already in progress. So, you know, so we already know that, you know, um, we did, but I won't share everything. Uh, I will, let me just say, I, I gave him my, he's not, a he's not, I'm a loud, I'm a loud mouth and I talk a lot. So he's not that type. He's very, a man of few words because he really thinks about what he has to say. He's a true to the heart Virgo, though. All the y'all zodiacs, true to the heart Virgo. So he really thinks about what he says. Um, I just told him my experience, what happened to me, and how everything was taken away from me because someone lied on me, and I was able to get get, get everything back because you know, like the like the good book said, don't touch my anointing. You know what I mean? And I gave him the affirmation, like all of us gave him that affirmation. Like, this is just a roadblock. You know, you're going you're gonna to get everything you got plus some. You know what I mean? So, so what's going on, Cat? What's up? What's up with it? You know what I mean? Yeah, he's very much a thoughtful introvert. Very much so. You know, oh, that's coming too. Trust me, everything, trust me, everything is in place. Everything is in place. So, and again, you know, that was awesome. That was common knowledge, and we already knew that. So, yes, everything is in place. The appeal is in place. Everything. So, you know, it's all good. It is all good. All right, let's get to the beginning of this episode. We get this uh, first look from Trish Telby, and in the comics, Trish was a love interest of B. So you kind of get a hint of that uh, in here. And she's interviewing um, the X-Men because now, what's up, Puma Lee? Uh, because now it, you know, uh, the, 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 the state of Genosha in the last episode, Scott and, um, and, and, and Magneto and everybody went to Genosha. I said Scott, Scott and somebody else, but they went to Genosha or to the UN so they could make Genosha, you know, a safe haven, you know what I mean? Uh, for mutants and to be set and be brought into the UN, you know what I mean? So that was where we, uh, uh, took place now. So in this you know, they're having a, uh, a conversation that you see Beast blushing in here because, again, uh, thank you so very much, Cap, for the for gift of 10 new memberships uh, in here. So make sure you guys are, if you don't have a membership, make sure that you are getting a membership um, from Cat. Again, Cat being a blessing to the, um, with their membership, of course, you know, I got to do this for you. All right, thank you so very much. Um, so again, they're having this conversation, and let me give a shout out. Let me well, let me give a shout out to Bo De, uh, De Mayo. De, uh, uh, De Mayo. Bo De Mayo. I don't know what was going on. Bo De Mayo needs to be the writer for 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 the foreseeable future on everything X Men, X Men movies, X Men cartoons, X Men serial, X Men anything X Men. He needs to be a part of it because, man, the writing in this show is impeccable. Impeccable. You know what I mean? So I got to give a shout out to him. Everybody's saying now that he should be the main writer for everything X-Men. You know, but in this, they're having, like, they're having to sit down with him, you know, with, with, with the mutants and stuff like that, letting them know their struggles and everything uh, with the uh, – you know, with with them also defending um, the na a nation that hates them, and um, and of course, I believe that this ties into a lot of a lot of the way that the African American uh, community felt, especially um, in the nineteen sixties and seventies. Actually, you know, every war we fought we fought into, and we were never respected as such. Remember, a lot of my people. Came back from the Korean War, came back from World War One, World War Two, you know what I mean? Uh, came back from um, uh, from 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 Vietnam and was still not treated as citizens. You know what I mean? Uh, and I believe that this is being played out in here, and a lot of information is 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 being said in here that I like because 
you know, you talk to people who grew up, especially older people, you know, a lot of those people are, 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 are elderly now and they're dying off. But if, you know, I, I had the pleasure of speaking to a lot of those elderly people when I was in high school and stuff like that, that went through war and how they were treated, you know, as second class citizens when they're fighting for a country that hate them. This had so much parallel to that. It was, oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. And now you have Magneto, uh, Rogue, and my man Gambit. Where is Blue at? You better put some respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Oh, my boy, Remy LeBeau. You got to put some. Remy is the MVP of this episode. Obviously, we seen that from the beginning because it was like previously on X-Men. It was his voice, you know, but you have to put some respect on here. Also, if you looked at the way that Genosha is now set up, it really remind me of Wakanda. I don't know if you ever seen this. But it was really, I mean, if, if you notice the parallel from Wakanda and Genosha, it is a- absolutely there. You know what I mean? Absolute, absolutely there. You know what I mean? So we uh, we go here and there's a, cu- a couple of mutants, I believe. Uh, uh, I forgot dude's name. He's in the, he's in one of my Deadpool comics. The guy with the, uh, the hi, oh, man. Oh, God, it's not Blob. Oh, God. I forgot his name. Uh, but him, Leech, and I believe it's Pixie. I believe that's her. You know what I'm saying? No, Pixie's right here. I forgot the young lady's name. That's right here. Uh, but he's in one of my he's one of my uh in one of my uh Deadpool comics. Funny as hell. Glob, that's his name. I was about to I don't know why I said blob, but uh but yeah, glob. You know what I'm saying? Oh, completely hilarious in every comic, every Deadpool comic he's in. He's hilarious. Um this book it was it was very political, very political. So uh, Magneto comes, and I don't know if you ever seen the gala. If you guys uh, that are comic book fans, if you see the he- Hellfire Gala, so much par- uh, 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 so much uh, emphasis on the Hellfire Gala in this episode too. So incredible, so incredible. Uh, but they come in, they uh, are greeted by Madeline Pryor. She is now in Genosha. I did not know Genosha in the fictional uh, universe is is an island outside of uh, East Africa. So that is very interesting to know. Uh, so of course, she's in there. She's with the uh, the Secretary of the uh, of the UN. Uh, it's good that Madeline Pryor is in, in here because it gives her something to do. It's not like you introduce a character, she goes away and she has nothing. So now she's in there, uh, you know, uh, uh, in Genosha, you know, uh, being a an ambassador, you know. But then, you know, there's a line that that Magneto says in here that I absolutely, uh, you know, it was amazing. She was like, "How can you make a terrorist uh, the leader of a nation?" And he fired back, saying, "How can you have leaders that are also terrorists?" Mic drop, my God, oh my God. I loved every minute of that one. What's up, Puma Lee with the $5 super chat? Quick side note, God bless you. Catch your mugger, Danny, and others with an excellent job support. Drop the major, we're hired, drop the major. We got you. Thank you so very much uh, for, for that. And we appreciate, like, everybody for Pam. She dressed me blue, you know what I mean? Chill, you know, uh, Dr. Hines. Uh, 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 not the lawyer who did his thing, who came in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a lot of people, man, that really, that, you know, that did their thing. Lori Italiano, all of the people, man, is amazing. You know, so much love. But thank you, you know what I'm saying, for that. You know, let me go ahead and hit you with this. Thank you so very much. And my man Tori, remember for three months, they starting to show it now. That's what's up. Did you see the Watcher in the Sky? That was it. The Watcher was there. The Watcher was there. And if they tie it now, the writing on here is a thousand percent better than what if. But if they bring in the Watcher from what if to the act, oh my God, will lose my shit. I will lose it. Absolutely lose it. All right, let's keep going. So, 
So my man Kurt Wag uh, my Kurt Wagner was there. My man Nightcrawl. I just got his toy. He's sitting up there doing his thing on my shelf. Nightcrawler was in this episode. This episode had me all over the feelings. All over my feelings. Oh my god. Seeing Nightcrawler and all of that in this episode brought back so many good memories. Oh uh, y'all are well, oh, y'all blessing the day. Thank you, Robin, for the 999 super chat. Thank you so very much. You know what I mean? Just keep supporting the channel always. Thank you so very much. Let uh, you know, I always got to give you this. One. Telling you, thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, okay, the MCU needs to understand that black people can save them. Chat with T'Challa, Blade, Boy, uh, Bonamayo. I need Disney to understand the power of greatness. Actually, absolutely, we cast T'Challa Senior. Yes, I was tripping when I said Nightcrawler's my guy. Nightcrawler's my guy. Um, as a Trinidad daddy, I love how they play the steel band music. I absolutely, and shout out to my Trinidadians up in the house. Trinidad, what's up? Uh, this is only episode five. We got five more episodes left. Yeah, yes. Yes. All right, let's keep going because you know I ain't got that much time. You know what I mean? Uh, so, of course, you know, um, you know, with Kirk of Wagner being there, he's going around and showing the city. You know what I mean? Uh, I loved every minute of this. This dude is, this is my guy, too. And, and just the way that they were kicking it in here, you see people from all races, creeds, ethnicities, some mutant power. All of this all kicking in. Now, I want to say this. You know what I'm saying? Why the hell them damn apples was $10? You know what I mean? Why was that apple so so expensive? You know what I mean? My man's eating that apple like, yo, man, why is this? Where is where is the, uh, where is, uh, what's the name at when I need them? Apples? You, the things that God gave for free? You will burn to hell when I'm finished with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The man that white apple was uh expensive. All right, uh uh yeah, X-Men is the excellence that Marvel could bring all the time. Let those who love the source material cook. And he is they are cooking. All right, you know what I mean? So again, I love the way that this looks, and this again, this sucks. That you're seeing all the beauty that they that, that they uh built for this nation in Genosha. You see Dazzler uh up in here, you know what I'm saying? Again, with the rest of the music. Remember in Orlando Brown, yeah, one of my favorite things. But uh, but remember in the um in C in season in season one, you know, we seen Genosha be a concentration camp. You know what I'm saying? And now you see exactly where it is now. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful safe haven. You know what I'm saying? For uh, for mutants. You know what I mean? So uh, this was awesome. But in this scene, you know, <clears throat> Kirk was telling him, hey, man, you probably need to uh, uh, marry old rogue. And he was like, man, you know what I mean? I ain't that type. You know, I ain't the marrying type. You know what I mean? I mean, I love her, but, you know, I don't want to be a player no more. I ain't a player. I just crush a lot. You know what I mean? But he loved her on a deeper level, which again, this shows a little bit of the uh of the parallels of love. Now remember, life and death has a love story with storm and force. Now you get into the love of uh, the love stories of not only rogue, you know, you basically you get the backstory of Rogue and Magneto, uh Rogue and Gambit, of course, Scott and uh and, and, and Jean Gray. You get all of this wrapped up in this episode, but then you get the love of the people versus the destruction that can happen. Oh my God. This is why, man. Oh my God. This is why this episode was so, was so awesome. And did you see, did you see my man, Scott go dark? The hint of him going dark. If y'all don't know, man, oh my God. Let me tell you, let me get to this. If you don't know when Scott when he becomes straight militant Scott and he becomes a villain, oh, oh, oh boy. When I went, man, I'm telling oh God, golly, oh my God. Is and there was a hint of that today in this when they start asking about his kid and they got really too familiar. Oh my god, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, boy, boy, boy. You know, so you got Jean Grey here. And again, this is something that they did in the comics. I think in the Uncanny X-Men uh, comics when, when you know, because Rogue, I mean, I'm sorry, Jean in the comics does have feelings for Wolverine. Now, again, I do agree with everybody in the uh, in the comment section that said, I'm glad that yeah, X Men versus X Men. I got X Avengers versus X Men too. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I get excited. I get excited because if they ever go there, oh boy, 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 super dope. Uh, but in the comics, in the comics, Jean Grey has professed her love, professed her love for Wolverine for Logan. So it's not out of the realm when she kisses him. You know what I mean? It's not out of the realm in here. But, but he did the right thing. He was like, you know what? You know, Red, you need to go back to the Boy Scout. That's what you need to do. Even though that's what he's been wanting this whole entire time, he knows, you know, the best thing that he should, that that uh that can happen is her going back to, to Scott. Because they got all, all resolved issues. And in here... You know what I mean? She gives a she gives a, a excellent monologue. You know what I mean? To why she was she loved him, and she still had feelings for Wolverine, and it was amazing. You know what I mean? And and that's the truth. This this has so much, you know, good writing and good storytelling and good parallels. And what I do like is that you do get to see what has been lost at Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, Marvel Studios, y'all have lost the element of character growth. When we see a character go from how he was in one movie to where he is two, two or three movies later, you know what I'm saying? And do it in a right way, not a comedic way, not in a goofy way, like which I did with Thor. You know, I can understand Thor going through grief and being more comedic, you know, going through grief, but then switching himself up because he has to be serious. Y'all just, man, they sent him down the wrong path to, anno to being annoying. You know what I'm saying? We got more character growth with Loki. So I'm telling you, Marvel Studios, man, you, you got an excellent writer right here on your hands. Do not let that dude go. Do not let that dude go. But again, you know, this was showing a lot of the rapport. You know what I mean? A lot of the times where, where she was saying that, you know, uh, she looked him in the eyes because she had the Phoenix Force so she could be able to hold his optic blast back. You know what I'm saying? It was it was amazing. But here, this is off the comments. But you can see he wasn't expecting that. And he didn't close his eyes to embrace it. He really said, look, you know, as much as I love you, this is who you need to be with. The memories of, of Scott and her being married and all of that. Even we're thinking, is this her memories or is this Madeline Pryde's memories? You know what I mean? So, again, I think this is uh, we start, when he starts talking about Gene, we don't have kids. And you know what I'm saying? And then he gets pissed off because he start uh and they start mentioning uh Nate Gray. But man, you know what I mean? He was like, I don't want to hear any of that shit. He was like, he really snapped. He snapped off. He was like, normal, y'all don't treat us normal. This is this is how y'all treat us, and it's a lie. Y'all don't, you know what I mean? Because y'all because you're normal. I, oh my god, one of the best monologues in the series. You know, said he gave him, he's like, I gave him up. I gave him up because y'all can't say thank you. Like, Scott snapping is the best Scott. I'm oh, my God, I'm getting excited. So, let's see if you, if you read X-Men, uh, Avengers versus X-Men. Mm, mm, and you go after that. Mm. Sebastian Stahl. Man, it was good to see him. The Hellfire Gala, you know what I mean, uh, that they do. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Banshee, Moore McTaggart is in here. Uh, Callisto from the Morlocks was here. So this was all dope. You know what I'm saying? Emma Frost. Emma Frost uh, was able to read Madeline Pryor's thoughts. And she knew what was kind of cracking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the turmoil that was going on in the relationship. You know what I mean? She, but she did get mad. How you going to get mad about uh, some psychic you know, a uh, connection that her and May, that Scott and Madeline has, and you over here kissing old Wubby. You know what I'm saying? And Emma Frost was being, but this is the Emma Frost I like, though. You know what I'm saying? I kind of didn't like Emma Frost when she was the leader, you know, she was the headmaster of uh, of the uh, of the X-Men 
or whatever. But yo, I like Petty. I like Petty Emma Frost. You know what I mean? But Magneto was. I hey, tell me this is the best version of Magneto, where he's in the middle, you know, of two. And I love the way that this is panel. Magneto on one side, Professor X on the other side, and Magneto living, living. Uh, Professor X's dream in the middle of that because all he cares about is his people. Like, can you really be mad about that? Like, you you mix the two ideologies together in the way that this is. This should be clipped. The way this should this should actually be clipped. You know what I'm saying? Because you also have the people who are listening to him. This part of this council behind him, but you have the two ideologies there. And only thing that separates their their ideologies, honestly is the extreme that you will go for your people. And now this does bear the same resemblance to Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And this I can be able to see. So, I, oh God, this is so good. This is, this is, this is, you know, good. And, and he agreed to be able to, um, to, um, to be able to rule G Genosha as long as Rogue well, basically was his queen in this. You know what I mean? So, you know, they talk about it. In, of course, they hinted their relationship that they uh, that they had uh, in the comics. You know what I mean? From the Elseworld com, I mean the uh, the uh, non-canon version where they got married and had a baby, uh, and then this canon version. You know, so G again, Jean and Scott are having their differences, but she can't really get mad. You know what I mean? Because hell, she didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It. Uh, he was like, Madeline was like, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then, oh, uh, you know, Scott and Madeline is having this mental conversation. And G was like, I, 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 and then Emma knew that because she's a high, highly intelligent telepath, dope telepath. And then she snaps on him after she didn't be kissing on Wolby. You know what I'm saying? She had her lips dead smack on Wolby and she making old Scott feel bad. And he, he did have a question. Are you in love with me or the or the memories of me? Oh my God! Don't you turn this on me! Don't you turn it on me! Excellent, excellent writing. You know what I'm saying? And then she has something come out of her memory, and I can't wait to uh, till we get back to this because I want to know who's sending these messages. What is it? Is it uh, this telepathic message? Is it um, is it Cable? Because Cable is in here from the future. You know what I'm saying? What is it? What is really going on? How much connection do they have to Mister Sinister? Who is really the big bad who sent the Sentinel, the Kaiju Sentinel? But they had this, but Rogue and, and Gamut, Cassandra Nova. Is it Cassandra Nova? You know what I'm saying? Just so many questions. Is Deadpool going to show up? Oh, my God. Just so many questions. Oh, my God. I got to hurry up. All right. So, uh, so Rogue gives a lowdown of, of what they, you know, um, how Magneto and Rogue hooked up. You know what I'm saying? And this is straight comic material. How better is it when you're using comic comics? Comics. Comics, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all got they man Marvel. Y'all seeing it. The reason why this is being, you know, uh, this is being um uh 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 being uh, touted because they're using comics. This is so dope. You know what I'm saying? And then my man throwing the cards, he threw the Queen of Hearts. In, a, in the thing, it was any letter go. I love you, but I can never, I can, I can never fulfill you like this man has fulfilled you. I gotta go, Gafilta fish. Get out of here, Gafilta fish. You know what I'm saying? And then he threw the Queen of Hearts into the fire. You know what I mean? And he was just talking about how they couldn't touch each other. And he was like, "It's deeper. It's the love that I have is deeper than a touch." Man, good writing, good writing. How many of us? have been with somebody, and it's beyond their physical. It's more than their physical that I love. And he had to walk away from her because she didn't understand how much love she really had. And, oh, my God, this is where it go, It starts to go down. You know what I'm saying? So, again, this this is so Hellfire Gala. Now, if you collected those comics, the help, when they do the Hellfire Gala, it's some, of, it's some of my favorite because the artists can really go in on the different outfits and suits and stuff like that. Super dope. Super dope. And again, uh, uh, Emma Frost was Sebastian Shaw. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have Magneto there. Uh, I believe that this is the UN uh, director. I can't think of her name offhand. 
um this year you still hey wait a minute you still got black people serving you drinks so why the brother gotta serve drinks huh huh Bo de Mayo, who, who, who told you how to make that dude black? Who got me? Mm, FOH. You know what I mean? FOH. But then I blame Sebastian Saul. You know what I'm saying? I blame Sebastian. But so, so, uh, so again, this was the, the you know, uh, this was the point right here. Um, uh, it was like they'd be lucky to have you lead. And then I love this part where she just floated down. I mean, she did have a little Disney princess in her where she floated down. But then they did all this smooching and doing all of this. You know, I mean, it was, it was, I, I'm not going to lie. It was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, visually, the way that they did this, you know, they're dancing the air. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but she said, hey, you know, maybe this touch is skin deep. Is something, is something worth more. And then remember, Madeline is watching this, watching all of this happen. You know what I mean? And then she started having this, this, uh, this vision. So she's watching all of this go down. And then next thing you know, that gets. See, to me, there's a message that was sent to her. Was it Cable? Was it Mister Sinister? You know what I mean? And, and, and then, of course, we hear Cable says, turn it off, turn the music off. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been a psychic connection with Cable because, remember, before she sent she sent them away with Bishop, they had that psychic connection. So I believe that that is a psychic connection. But, again, she kissed on old Magneto, you know what I'm saying, and said, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know what I mean? And they're giving a lot of attention. Absolutely. Giving a lot of attention. So my man Cable comes in, turn the music off. You see, uh, 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 Mer uh, 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 is it Meryl? Uh, yeah, you see Meryl right here, which was dope because she was uh, quote unquote missing in episode one. So you see her here. You know what I'm saying? Do you see all of this? But you see Cable come in, turn the music off, turn it off right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's coming. And then the Kaiju mutant shows up in that green. The green glow, that's what I'm thinking. Is it Mr. Sinister or is this something else? But again, Cassandra Nova in the comics also did. Man, it's so, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm getting uh, getting excited. You know what I'm saying? And then he gets, you know, face to face with his mother. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he's coming. What's coming? He was like, I'm glad you made it. You know, she tears up. And he was like, you know, I love you, mom. <laughs> He said, sorry for what? And then, boom. Like, I mean, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They went there. They went there. I mean, I wasn't expecting this. And it went down. I mean, ev there is the destruction of Genosha in a major way. Very comic accurate. You know what I'm saying? Got the Kaiju Sentinel coming through blasting everybody magneto is a hero because he's covering up you know what i mean everybody i mean kurt wagner it, it, i mean oh my god oh i mean when i seen this i said holy shit balls what am i watching oh my god sebastian shaw madeline prior uh madeline prior i mean jeez and then, like I said, Magneto, and this is why I love Magneto in this story, because it makes Magneto just not a one no villain. He really cares about his people. He's willing to die for his people. The, the leader of the UN is seeing this. She's seeing the tragedy, the way that they, X4 Extinction, yes, I got that. Oh, I got that run, too. I got that run, but I, I, I but I, I have the run. I have a few of the X-Men run, but I have it in, uh, in New Mutants. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. But but again, this was dope. This, if you have not seen this episode, you have missed out. You have you have missed out. You know what I mean? The way that uh Rogue was going ham on the uh on the Sentinels, you know what I'm saying? Magneto doing his thing. Oh my god, it was so good. And and again, this 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 you know, kaiju godzilla three-headed uh signal so incredibly dope so incredibly dope they just attack everything and magneto uses the the uh the train as a whip 
You know what I mean? And you got all the more you got the more like sitting there that need to be uh you know that needs to be uh saved and they and and you know uh uh leech had a line was like you know the x-men will save us and they was like oh we are the x-men ain't got no time for us he said or magneto and he had hope you know what i'm saying he had hope and then magneto came in and saved him rogue was doing her doing her thing this was i'm not gonna lie this hit me differently because gleach was really holding on to magneto while magneto was saying that hit me different i'm not even gonna hold you my emotions everything was so into this into this episode you know what i mean and it he really say you know was saving leech and everybody you know what i'm saying but this version of this uh of this sentinel was not playing you could even touch this touch this thing it did it stabbed i mean i i know it's youtube i man oh, who would have thought disney would go here if raise your hand if you thought disney would go here you know what I mean? Raise your hand because I didn't. I didn't think they was going to go there. They went there. Oh, my goodness. And this was the scene of the day. You know what I'm saying? He thought it was neutralized. He was like, I, I, I. He said, my name is Gambit, mon ami. Yeah, it, sent his, it sent all of his power to that and sacrificed. He literally sacrificed himself. You know what I'm saying? To be able to save this people. He was like, Rem remember it. You know what I'm saying? The name's Gambit. Remember it. It was crazy if you, if, if, if uh, yeah, he was draining his power. And, and again, in, in Donna, uh, uh, no, Donna X, they did a, um, a scale who was a level mega, uh, a, le a, 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 a mega level mutant where they scale this. Remy LeBeau is an omega level mutant. He is. And Omega, especially the older he gets, the stronger his power. Omega level mutant. Super dope. Super dope. Destroys it. The X-Men are watching this. And, and this was on, and, and, and I believe it was uh, 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 Bo DeMeo said, this is the, their September 11th. This is the, the X-Men September 11th. Great writing. Great writing. And everybody is, is, look at their faces. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, in Scott, I need a pissed off Scott Summers. I need a pissed off Scott Summers. You know what I mean? And D says, yeah, Nem Nemron, Omega Symbol. No, boy. They got so much material to work off of, but I need a pissed off because this hit me in the feels. This hit me in the feels. I'm not lying. This hit me in the feels. I was sitting there like, oh, my God. I can't believe that they went there. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody who survives to see that. And then who who saw Death of Superman when he saw, when they saw this? You know what I mean? I saw Death of Superman all over this. You know what I mean? Death of Superman. And yes. Yes. Yes, he is. Romantic hero. Yes. And this was Death of Superman. This was amazing. Uh, you know what I mean? All of this. <sighs> This is now remember how I kept, uh, you know, uh, how we will always say that DC had the best um, movies because of the way that they went there. Let me just say Marvel with Bo DeMaio said, hold my beer. Hold my beer. I got y'all. Y'all don't think I can get, I could go there with these stories. I could go there. She was like, sugar, I can't touch you. Sugar, I can't touch you, and just cried in his. I can't feel you. Yes, very Lois Holden Clark, and then they played the sad, the sad version. You know what I'm saying of the X Men theme at the end. Oh my God, oh my God, who's seen this episode coming? Who's seen this episode coming? I didn't. This was, I mean, when I tell you. This is this is the expectation I need from everything Marvel now. Because y'all, they're killing it. They're killing it. This is what I need from them right now. If they could bring me this level of storytelling, this level of, of, of mixing comic books, you know what I'm saying, with great storytelling, you know they're going to do some timey-wimey, you know what I'm saying, flippity-flu, you know what I mean? Yeah, one, one, yeah. 
Yes. Yes. And this is on the level of how WandaVision was at the end. Yo, yo, this is, this is, this is it. I need this. I, I need this now. You can't, there's no way you could go back now, Marvel. There's no way you can go back. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. Oh, I got to get up out of here, man. You know, I, I love you guys. Thank you uh, for tuning in and, and hanging with me while I do this breakdown, live breakdown of, uh, of X-Men 97 Episode 5. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you never, ever, ever miss one of my videos again. Until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace and Bob Power. Look for my video of how... I got to meet Jonathan Majors. Watch for that video later on. Where's my outro at? I got to get up out of here. I am late. Kids got to go to school. Let's go. Where's my Where's my outro at? Wait a minute. You're telling me the video's over? What? Huh. Okay, I guess so. If you have came to this portion of the video, thank you so very much for sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. And if you really want to, you don't got to, go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below. Until next time, I'll let you guys later. Peace and Bob Hire, y'all. Y'all take care of y'all.